All right, we back with another unboxing. Uh, it's funny how I keep calling them unboxing when most of these uh, parcels just come in the standard envelope or letter. But anyway, I've got an interesting photo here today. All the photos that I show you are interesting, of course. So I don't know why I keep saying that, but I uh, just wanted to remind you. Anyway, I'm not sure if this is an actual photograph or a slide, so let's check it out and see what's inside. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. It is a photograph of a Canadian National uh, train. I don't know where, did not expect that. Uh, maybe it's just like a postcard or something. Oh, it is. And here's another postcard. Good old 3751, pulling up a stack train. Oh, interesting, with a baggage car behind it. Uh, kind of cool that they added this. Uh, looks like somewhere in California, maybe there's some information on the back. Um, I'm not sure, but it was taken in 1999, so. Very cool, always a locomotive I've wanted to see in real life. That's not what I bought though. And uh, there's one more look at the Canadian National Train. Another uh, postcard though. All right, yeah, it looks like a slide. Hate to damage the card, but yeah, you can see the information there. SD70 eyes on CP218. Or is that is that what it is? Let me see. No, that's the uh, CP218 is the milepost. Anyway. Let's take a look at this slide. Excited to see what it is. Oh yeah, this one is cool. So if you see you see this, um, Heisler, Heisler, however you pronounce it, I call it a Heisler. But anyway, Potomac Electric Pepco Heisler. So if you're wondering. What, a slide of a Heisler locomotive? Well, let me show you. So I don't know if any of you guys watching are familiar with uh, locomotives known as fireless cookers, but for a number of years, the Potomac Electric Power Company uh, employed a number of them at uh, their power plant at Benning Road in Washington, DC. They also had them in Alexandria, and uh, other areas, other power plants they had here and there. Um, other companies uh, use these fireless cookers too, even a few class ones. I know the CNO had a few in West Virginia and Burlington Northern even, even had one too at one of their tie plants. But let's get, a, let's get a better look at this slide. Let me get my lamp up so we can get a good look at the bottom. All right, it's pretty good, I think. It's kind of hard to tell with my camera, but this is, unfortunately, the information is written upside down, but whatever. Potomac Electric Company, or Pepco is actually what it's called, Washington, D.C., taken by William Rosenberg. Unfortunately, no date, but I would guess, I think, I think on the listing it was 1979, which sounds about right, which is crazy if you think about it. Steam Locomotives and Revenue Service, 1979? Well... It's true. It was true here. It was true in a number of places. I think the CNO actually officially was one of was the very last class one to run uh, revenue steam locomotive operations. A lot of people think it was um, the Reading Company with 1251, but I think the CNO wins that battle. Uh, but if I'm wrong about that, then don't be afraid to tell me in the comments, as I'm happy being wrong. Anyway, there's one last look again. This is definitely at Benning. Uh, oh, that's a good shot there. You can see the coal cars. Uh, this power plant no longer, uh, unfortunately, no longer uh, receives coal cars, coal hoppers, as the, I think, is the power plant even in operation anymore? I'm not sure. But if it is, uh, it's uh, natural gas. So not going to see any scenes like this anymore. Uh, and I just, I mean, Washington, D.C., a steam locomotive in operation, 1979? I, I just, I had to jump at it. Thankfully, I got it. So, very cool. That's all I have for you guys. So, thanks for watching.